In the 40 years since he set up shop on the small street just a few feet away from the Vatican, Raniero Mancinelli has become the go-to person when it comes to dressing popes. Più di uno, più di uno fatti, sì. Starting with John Paul II, the Vatican called Mancinelli to make his papal robes. It was also during that time that he met Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger. Everyone describes him as a somewhat cold person, somewhat rigid. Instead, I have known him as a person that is very sympathetic, humble, modest, affectionate and sweet, surely. Over the years, his work has brought them closer, surely a lot closer than other people outside Vatican walls. So in 2005, when Cardinal Ratzinger emerged from the conclave as Benedict XVI, it was only natural that the person who would call to make the traditional white papal tunic would be him. At first, I couldn't think. Then I was very excited and a little shaken because it gives you great pleasure. Part of the work I do can be called upon by the Pope. It's something that gives you great joy and satisfaction. A photograph proudly hangs inside the store, marking another moment when Mancinelli personally delivered several finished items to the Pope. He says he's saddened by his resignation, but notes that the next Pope may be among his new clients, though he doesn't venture to guess who it could be. I know a lot of cardinals, but I cannot say. It could be one or it could be another. It's not easy because it is a bit sudden. There is no time to prepare to say one can win or another. In the meantime, he chooses to focus on Benedict XVI and to continue to show his admiration for him. And though he is saddened by his departure, he's glad he'll be around and hopes to be able to continue making his clothes when he's retired. <laughs>